So welcome back to the Chop Chop, everybody. In today's episode, we're testing out this new super splitter, I'm gonna call it. So if y'all missed the last episode where I upgraded the hydraulic pump on this particular American CLS splitter, this is their tractor series, their three-point. And I originally had, it was a 10 or 11 gallon a minute pump, don't remember the exact specs, and we went up to a 20 gallon a minute, and this thing has turned into a beast. We went from about a 10 and a half to 11 second cycle time to a six second, and sometimes I'm slightly faster in the fives. This thing is blazing. So what I wanna to test today, the four-way wedge, we're gonna put that on there and see if it's got the power to bust through that. And then we'll run what's called their take-up wedge, which sits on the end of the wedge that's already on there, takes up the gap, so when you push stringy wood through, it pops it apart. All right, so the last video got quite a bit of views, a lot of comments and interest, so I thought I'd bring y'all along. I'm kind of doing some research and development for the company, testing this out, because in the past, they had recommended don't run this large of a pump on anything less than a 28 horse tractor. By the way, this is our Solus H24, 24 horsepower, three cylinder Mitsubishi in there. But he did give me the freedom to, well, let's test that out and actually see. Thus far, this tractor's handling it beautifully. But we've been running the single-way wedge that's on there, and it's been popping this oak just fine. The real test today is going to be the four-way wedge. All right, so speak of my helper, there's Tiffany. I have arrived. She has arrived. She's going to help me stack all this up. And here's Ruger. How he normally helps us is he lays over here in the dirt and takes a nap. That's his way of helping. <laughs> of course, being as cool as it is this morning, he'll probably just run around and play. Or he gets some sticks out. <laughs> or some sticks, that's right. He scatters stuff and uh, makes a mess. All right, so let's grab this tote, get it over here, and uh, let's bust this up. I got other chores to do today, but like I was telling him, while it's nice and cool, let's at least get some splitting done. Plus, I'm out of totes. Like, I'm desperate. I just sent some texts and messages out. I'm trying to find some. <laughs> So first impressions, we'll talk about some positives and negatives to this at the end. I'm already picking up on some of that, but this son of a gun is fast. I am outrunning her like crazy. Like we're at a point now to where something like this with this kind of a cycle time, we could use a conveyor just dumping it somewhere and then stacking later, just keep getting it off of the machine. So uh, definitely blazing fast. But like I said, we'll talk about some of the differences between a model like this and the animal over here at the end. Thank you. 
All right, that didn't take long at all, did it? No, not at all. So what's your honest thoughts? Being Fine. that this is a new process. We've split on this before, but not with the new pump. So any thoughts, anything different? Yeah, it's definitely faster. I mean, at times I was kind of struggling to keep up. I was like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I was myself. So definitely some huge differences yeah. between a tractor splitter and uh, the animal. This wasn't supposed to be a comparison video, but I'll talk to y'all about that because I know a lot of y'all are shopping. Um, one thing I did notice with us not having the adjustable wedges like over on the animal, we kind of went started out with some larger splits, which I did think that helped speed you up too. But there toward the end, you can see we're starting to get little kindling pieces, smaller pieces. And uh, you'll also notice since you don't have an adjustable four-way, that's a big difference between the two. That one's hydraulically driven over there. I went up with not as much as I was thinking, but slivers off the top in the past. I didn't like that. That's why I wanted an adjustable four-way. But to be honest with you, now I actually don't mind this at all. So what I'll do, I'll pull these out and save them, let them dry. Now that we're cooking over our rocket stoves and other cooking appliances, I basically use this as candling to get all that started. This works beautiful for that, especially pieces like this, and they dry so quick. And I'll use some of my noodles right there that I call it, some that sawdust and shavings as my fire starter. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Very good so, point. So it's actually benefiting us now to have all these random size pieces because we're using so many different cooking appliances. Now, with that said, if you just want to really control your wood, put a single way on. And like I was explaining to y'all, this machine, you can use just that wedge or you can use this slip-on take-up wedge, gap wedge. Uh, it's called lots of different things because the ram has to stop right here and not make contact with your cutting edge. So that's why this factory wedge right here is back further and this takes up the gap. So if you have a really stringy wood that's wanting to hold together, well, this will push and pop it apart. And the reason this wedge is set back is so you can slip a four way on and it have its gap up front. And again, not make contact with the push plate right here. So this, this isn't necessary, but if you're dealing with a lot of stringy wood, which we haven't been thus far, uh, you can put this on and it just pops stuff apart even easier. So a while back, I know this thing's dirty, but heck, we're using stuff here on the channel. That's what we do. Remember there was a gap here and some people mentioned it. Well, as you can see, they make a take-up plate right here that uh, closes the gap. It just bolts on from the underneath side. I can't remember if I ever showed y'all that I got that here. I'm curious if they may make one for this side as well. If they do, I think I'd enjoy that because there's times that wood can slide back off. Uh, but that little plate closes that gap up no problem. Now, the only time I've found that to be an issue is whenever you've got wood that's really straight grain like today and it pops apart early. Otherwise, if you're pushing wood through, especially stringy stuff, and then put another piece on and push through again, well, your wood winds up on the plate. But if you got something that's just really ready to explode apart and uh, beautiful straight grain like this oak happens to be yeah it can come apart early on you so no problems with the log lift that handled everything we did today and as you've seen there at the end you could probably hear i'd idled the tractor down i really love that i'm still getting really good cycle time and speed even with the tractor down around like 1900 rpms to 2000 that makes it a lot more fuel efficient tractor doesn't have to work as hard so that's the benefit of it one other thing i want to do the big selling point to this is you've got an adjustable height. Some people want to split or low. I actually want mine a little higher, but I've run out of room on my top link here. That's just a top link problem. I'm going to run by tractor supply and get a shorter one of these. That allows me to close that gap up, lifting the end up, and I can make this even higher. So that's actually a benefit. I just could not find a short top link in stock a while back when I went by. They were sold out. So excuse all the pollen and stuff over here on the animal, but the other big selling point to these is, well, the price. I mean, you're getting an amazing splitter out here for a lot less money, but there's a reason why. This comes with a really nice Honda engine on there, whereas over here, you're using the tractor engine. This has bigger and another set of valves because we have a hydraulic controlled wedge down here. You've got a much bigger cylinder, a lot more power, much bigger push plate. This is just designed to handle bigger wood, which we have here. Bigger plates on the end right here, bigger catch stop or log stop for the operator right here. Four-way wedges, six ways. I mean, the sky's the limit. Big wedges here. This really makes the most sense for us because we have such huge trees down there that we split but I am not knocking this at all. This thing is so unbelievably productive and fast. I, I would beg to say this is just as fast, or in some cases faster than this, but this is going to be probably more productive if you're dealing with larger wood. It's just set up and designed to handle it. From the quality of the steel and thickness and everything else, this is definitely more of a robust machine. There's no doubt about that, but I, I'm not knocking this at all. 
for a very affordable price you can get in a highly productive machine like tiffany and i were talking today we're at the point now i don't really think we can go any faster uh with two people we would need a conveyor or something else here it's just it's really at the point it can about outrun us and that's a good thing all right i thought y'all might want to see this y'all had a lot of interest in me upgrading the pump on this uh, particular splitter right here so if you're interested in any mr larry's stuff awesome small american business reach out to him he supports the channel we support him and uh like i said i'm kind of doing some of this testing for him for you for the curiosity of it and if you'll mention that you've seen it on our channel i'll put all his information down there you get a discount as well if you call him for a quote for one of these machines by the way he's got several other model machines as well so thank you for your help we want to take advantage of this nice cool morning right here by the way this is solar eclipse day <laughs> <laughs> doomsday the end of the world <laughs> if you read the news we're still here. yeah we're, well it hasn't come right through now. yet so we hope we get this video out to y'all and the world hasn't ended oh my goodness people find everything in the world to worry about don't they uh, i'm pretty sure we'll be here we'll get this edited uh, after the eclipse today and out to you probably tomorrow or the next day so thank y'all for watching take care we'll see you on the next one